you so much. It's lovely to be home in Canada. So nice to see you. I moved to California a couple years ago, and the thing that I miss the most is uh, water. I miss water. Um, <laughs> California has no water. There's always a drought. It's always, everything is, there's no water. I've had soap in my hair for two years. I've had, <laughs> right now, and now I'm, try, I'm desperate to like conserve water myself because I'm concerned. So now I don't even make coffee at home. Now I just take a scoop of Folgers and m make my move. That's what it, <laughs> yes. It's, you gotta choke it down. <laughs> it's, it's cardio. So here's the thing. I don't know if you know, you know things are bad, you know you're in a serious situation when Magnum P.I. steals water. Did you, did you hear about this? Tom Selleck stole water. I assume he just soaked it up in his mustache. That's what I assume he just <laughs> left. Oh, that's fun. Here's something else. Uh, we all, there's, you know, natural disasters, no good. But new for me, earthquakes, that's a new experience. First month that I was in L.A., two earthquakes in a month. And just for a second, I was like, oh, fuck, is it me? Is it me? Do you know what I mean? Oh, ooh, you know, ooh, light step at me, Giovanni. But it's scary, do you know? And I gotta tell I don't wanna die in a natural disaster. That is my least favorite way to die. Least favorite way. Because the scariest thing you can say to me is run. Holy fuck. <laughs> Are you kidding? You say run, I lie down. I just lie down. I do, I'm just, go around, go around. Is that what I said? The dogs are getting me. Do you know what I mean? Choose me for your team. You need a slow one. You always need a slow one. Anyway, but I do love, I love disaster movies. Oh, I love Peril. Peril is my favorite. And I love it when they cross something in the lab and then it goes crazy and kills the town. That's my favorite. Do you know when they take a snake and a bear? Ah, that's a bear snake. I love that so much. And the only thing that bothers me about disaster movies is, you know, very unrealistic. You know, no one ever has to go to the bathroom. No one ever has to go to the... You're getting chased by zombies and no one has diarrhea. <laughs> nice try, Hollywood. I'm on to you, little IBS. Anyway, oh, one thing though, I do love to be scared. I love being scared uh, because I don't have sex and I need something. Do you know what I mean? I need, I need this. Oh yeah, I need that, I need that. I get it from fear. Anyway. But I do a lot of things in my life to make sure I'm scared. I moved into a new apartment and I put my desk under the ceiling fan. <laughs> Am I asking to die? Am I asking to die every day? I say, oh, I'm scared to death every minute of the day. Is it gonna fall? Is it gonna chop me to death? You know what I mean? It's not gonna chop me to death. It's not. I would have more luck hanging myself over the blender. Do you understand? Like, like a big blender, I'd have to break into a factory. But anyway. I want the fear, I want it. And I watch shows about murder, and it's, it's getting, it's a problem. There's my favorite show right now, it's, it's a real show, it's called I Survived, have you heard this? Do you know this one? And they survived, so yeah, they survived, that's nice. And the reason I watch it is because I need that. You know, I'm dead inside, right? I have a hole in my heart, and I'm dead inside, so I watch shows to feel alive. And the thing about I Survived, it's like it's a formula. Every time it's three true stories, and what it is every time, it's always a woman gets killed by her husband, and then it's nature, and then it's a woman gets killed by a man, all right? But I am so, I'm so dead inside that I fast forward through nature. I fast forward. I, an avalanche, did it rape her? Boring, boring. Uh, yeah. Oh, what did you have, good parents? Grow up. Anyway. Um, one thing I've also been doing, I've been uh, creating a list to save your life. I have a list going of things not to do to make sure you don't get murdered. Are you ready to write this down? Okay, number one, if you're ever anywhere and you look, like, look next door and there's a cornfield, you're about to die. You're about to die. <laughs> This, it, do, you, people don't even plant cornfields. They just show up. Did you know that? They, did you see Children of the Corn? Did you see Children of the Corn? So after Children of the Corn, I stopped eating corn. <laughs> no, I didn't, guys. Shut up. Corn is good. Are you kidding? These are jokes. Ah, all right. But it's scary, though. Another thing, another thing, to stay alive. If you go camping, you're asking to be murdered. You're asking to be murdered. That is where crazy people go to live. Are you aware of that? It's the woods. That's where they go. Have you seen a tent? It's made of Kleenex. Are you kidding me? Are you ki a sleeping bag is a to-go bag for a murderer. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Just tie it off, eat you later. I don't know what they do. But here's something else. Another way to die is if you're ever hanging out with me and uh, we're eating Jello, and then you do that swishy thing in your mouth. You'll... Yeah, I'll fucking kill you. I'll kill you dead. I'll kill you dead. Uh, hate that. 
Another thing too that I was thinking about, I, I, people that liked high school, what is that? If you liked high school, I do not like you. Do you know what I mean? What kind of savage like high school, am I right? What's wrong with you? Do you remember anyone that liked playing dodgeball? Do you remember the winners of dodgeball? They're murderers now, they're murderers now. You know why we played dodgeball? It was to find the sociopaths, that's what it was. Ted Bundy, champion five years in a row. Here's something else. I'll t I do like some things. I love stationary. I love stationary. And I don't mean just standing still. Although I fucking love that. Watch this. Ah! <laughs> That's a good one. I'll be sore tomorrow. Anyway, here's the thing. Oh. I do love stationery. I love paper and pens. Love it. And I love school supplies. Love school supplies. September for me is Christmas. Are you kidding? I love, oh God, the other day I was vacuuming my house and I found a paper clip shaped like a bear. What? <laughs> I don't even know how I got my house. It was so exciting. I had to masturbate. I'm not going to lie. I did. I, I was good anyway, but I moved it up in the schedule. I'm flexible. You know how it is. And, uh, and then I had a moment in the aftermath. I was like, who still uses paper clips? We've had staples for a really long time. Do you know? Who are paper clips for? Like slutty paper that's not ready for a commitment? Is that what it is? <laughs> I need a boyfriend. Anyway, <laughs> one of my favorite things, I love expressions, I like words. One of my favorite expressions, you might have heard, it's kind of old, but I like it. Have you heard of it? Big girls don't cry. Have you heard that expression? Big girls don't cry. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> we cry the most. We cry the most. It's cardio if you get your arms up. I'm not going <laughs> to... 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day. Does the trick. Does the trick. I was thinking about this uh, the other day. You know what happens? Um, as we get older, we change, but not everything changes. Do you remember what you liked as a teenager? Like sexy things, porn. Let's be honest. What you liked as a young person, you still like it today, don't you? Think about it. When I was in high school, my best friend Shannon Partlow and I found her mother's uh, romance novels. Now I still like romance novels. I'm not proud, I'm not proud. And I was reading one the other day and I realized they are so unfeminist, it's terrifying. Like everything, I'm ashamed to read them. But then I thought about it. Let's be honest, we all want equality of the sexes, but sex between equals, Boring, am I right? <laughs> no one wants that, you know what I mean? Like, ooh, why don't we make out like we're equals? No, fuck me like I make less money. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's do that, people. I want to be a feminist in the streets, but oppressed in the sheets, am I right? <laughs> yes, yeah. All right, thank you so much, Montreal. We'll see you again. Have a good night.